Hello everyone. In today's session, you are going to discuss how to write a context-free grammar for a regular expression. So, first of all, why we want to write a context-free grammar for a regular expression? Uh, you remember, like we have this finite automata uh, that can be constructed for any regular language, right? Like whenever the language is regular, there exists an NFA or DFA to accept it, and it doesn't have any memory unit. And what is the next criteria? We have pushed down automata which accepts context-free uh, language. and this has stack as a memory unit okay so when a problem can be solved without using any memory unit whether you have the memory unit or not the problem can be solved right so you can call this regular language as a subset of your context free grammar context free language okay so any problem that can be construct that can be solved using your nfa or dfa can be solved using your push down automata too okay so we call this regular language as a subset of your context free language so there should be a way of representing writing a context free grammar for the regular expression right so do, we'll see that in today's session okay so let us consider any of the examples like i'll take any context free grammar any regular language or regular expression like this uh, starts with a ends with either b or c the whole stuff okay so usually we have these representation right either we have this union operation plus is a union operation or concatenation or closure okay so what is the language description it should start with a followed by zero or more what is the representation for abs uh, asterisk symbol here it is zero or more representation right zero or more iterations so what all the input except by this language mandatorily it has to start with a and just either zero or more uh, b and c follows so either a or a followed by b or a followed by c or a followed by bc or a followed by bb or any combination of b and c that is the meaning of it zero or more combination of b and c uh, now i'll show you how to write a context free grammar for it so i start with s s is a starting symbol and we should have start as all the uh, input should start with a so a is mandatory and that is followed by a closure element right so for closure element it is preferable to create a new variable i create a new variable and this a consist of either b or c or any combination of b and c so re to represent an iteration we call this a again and again see this can be written as either b followed by a okay or c followed by a or it accepts epsilon 2 since it is asterisk symbol asterisk symbol means clean closure it is zero or more iteration so either epsilon either uh, this a takes epsilon when a takes epsilon your input derives just a alone okay it is s tends to a a and this tends to epsilon your input is just a or it takes a a and this a can be replaced with b a and this takes epsilon so here this is a possibility of a followed by b or a followed by c or any combination of a followed by a b or c or epsilon okay so that is this the overall representation for your context uh, regular expression that is given okay so what all the variables you have what is a variable a variable is something that is written in this place that has a derivation for it so s and your variables here are s and a and your terminal symbols is nothing but your input input is made up of the combination a b c so a or b or c is your input and what is your prediction rules here this are all your prediction rule and i again use s as the starting symbol so these are all the four tuples to represent a context free grammar i'll show you some more examples so that you'll understand this in more better easy way i'll take the next example so it is a followed by b c star d okay so what is the meaning of it here what all these in this regular language just start with a end with d okay in between it is an closure so you may have zero or more combination of b c iterated okay like a this bc can be iterated once or a followed by this bc can be iterated twice okay in all the places starts with a ends with d starts with a ends with d and this bc can be repeated any number of times and it goes on so these are all the input that is accepted by this language so how can you write a context free grammar for it starts with the variable s and when it starts with a it should end with d right starting and ending is mandatory you should have one a one d to start and end and again in between you have a iteration so whenever you have a iteration create a new variable for it and what is there in this variable here this variable iterates bc any number of times so bc 
followed by a so this a will be called any number of times each time it is replaced with bc again and again and it carries epsilon 2 since it is a clean closure operator okay so how can you derive an input for this starts with s so it is a a d and this a can be replaced with either epsilon or replaced with bc followed by a and this a can be again replaced with bc followed by a with epsilon or any combination of bc okay so this is what this language represents right so now you got your context free grammar whenever you got a context free grammar don't forget to write its representation we have variables as s and a variable is something that is written in the side and what all the terminal symbols that is allowed here in your input you have the combination of a b c or d and s is the starting symbol and this is the production rule for it okay so completely write the representation fine i'll give you some more examples to make you to understand this better i'll take the next example as a b plus c d the whole star so what does this means dear your input has either your what all the input that comes here it is either a b so it is an epsilon right it is the clean closure one complete clean closure so it accepts either epsilon or a b or c d or a b followed by c d or c d followed by a b and it goes on any combination of a b c d but when a comes you have this sequence of a b comes over there got it so how can you write a regular expression for context free grammar for it you have one variable and this variable takes epsilon 2 okay either epsilon or it is a b repeated or it is c d repeated okay and it goes on it is an iterative process so whenever it re it starts with a b or c d and that can be called any number of times and it includes epsilon too okay so this is the context free grammar representation for it and uh, i'll see one more example the last example so let us consider this regular expression as a bar b a b star okay so this a bar b is mandatory one element should be there and that takes either a or b and another is an iteration of a b the whole star okay the context free grammar for this can be represented as i have two elements here i can give it as x and y and this x takes the value either a or b and this y is a loop see this is a clean closure and the closure is made up of either a y or b y or epsilon since it is zero or more iteration okay so it is i'm sorry it is a b star it is not a plus b star so it is a b y repeated n number of times followed by epsilon okay your input is of the combination either starts with a or starts with b or a starts with a b or b starts with a b and it goes on so all possible combinations but a b occurs in sequence over here so a b is iterated for n number of times including epsilon okay so this is not the only way to represent it like it is uh, like uh, anyone can write a program in their own way right if i write write a prog uh, program for some problem i write it in one way and you may write it in another way so this is one possible way or this can also be represented like this the input starts with either a or input starts with b right for the recursion i call another variable a and this a takes the value of a b a or epsilon here also it represents the same okay so it starts with either a or b followed by this iteration whenever iteration we create a new variable so a is created and this a is iterated for a b okay so a b is repeated n number of times zero or more times so i use this recursion procedure over here okay so this is one way of representation this is another way of representation so anyway you can go ahead on so this is how we create a context free grammar for a regular expression or a regular language okay thank you